Beijing. And obviously, it, it's not like we're saying uh, he did not practice before this oh tournament. Oh my god, this crowd. But there's a difference, right, between just training mode and casual matches. Yes, and yes implementing there is. these at the highest level here at EVO, and now it's going to be in grand finals. Oh, and I love that we got a little bit of, you know, Got a little shot of our in-house commentators there. Shout out to Zero Syndicate and Risky Sweep who are doing a spectacular job hyping up this crowd yeah. and keeping the energy alive because they keep the audience energy energized, we're energized, and we are getting ready to get into grand finals. We're gonna do a little button check and then we're gonna get into it. Yeah, Jake, we, I asked him uh, yesterday some questions and he had said the player that he wants to least get matched up with is Masoma. And so and I feel like it's, it's <laughs> fate that this is how it's playing out. A really interesting thing also that he uh, he answered when I asked him about like his impressions of the American scene overall after playing them right. in the tournament. He was saying uh, one of the things he noticed was that uh, Americans, he felt like they were a little bit worse at teching throws, but they were much better at knowing how to kind of abuse uh, based on character matchup, like knowing uh -huh. how to play around the opponent's strengths and really uh, capitalize on their weaknesses. I thought that was really interesting. That is a really interesting point, especially, you know, coming into this, getting that little bit of insight and the audience is absolutely hype right now. And we hope you are at home too. This is it. This is grand finals of Melty Blip Type Lumina here at EVO 2022. Let's go. There we go. We saw this again in Women's Finals. There was a lot laid out. Let's see if there's been adaptation since that set. I mean, it's definitely on Masoma to try and change things up, right? Jing did end up getting ahead here, but Jing finds the first hit. And way to set a pace for this Grand Finals. Yeah, this is the combo that we've seen time yeah. and time again. They're so we've comfortable seen meter. in it. So we'll see an EX here probably. No, oh, repressure from Projectile. Air Dash, there's a shield, but needs to keep it safe. Whoa! Yeah, that was actually really interesting. There just seemed like feeling it out. There's definitely some yeah. nerves going on. Jumping Air Shield might have been a, a play for these Fireballs. There's a jump in the... Oh! Table! Too fast! There's a counter in! Yep. Gonna set up again. Yep, here comes the table. Gets the launch off of it. All right, and Masoma with meter mm -hmm. gets hit low. No, this is very one-sided right now. I the feel like Jing has got a lot of time to mentally prepare for this, especially after watching that hard-fought match from Masoma. However, he's not dead yet. No, that's too oh. far. I was gonna say, when is it gonna happen? That's still a question that's left on the table here and Masoma, between these he, two. He keeps getting hit by that. He I'm, keeps. That's it's like the hard. It's, the, time. the thing is, it's hard to actually tell the spacing. I think for him because. Uh, he certainly can just you know, try and space it out a little bit. And, and he's not the one in control, right? Yes. All you can do is yes. try and GCD. Okay. Again, this is just, I feel like this is just confidence from Jing. And they will get seen by Moondrive, but yeah, that does put Masomi into the band in Moondrive here. Jing probably just gonna try and wait it out or find an opening to BC through. We'll see. There's the shield. Yep, jump shield. It's a good jump oh, here at the table. No. Right. Again, gonna go to the table setup. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't have enough meter. There's a stand nope. shield. Doesn't get punished though. We're out. Yes. Masoma. Masoma's turn. Okay, text the throw. That was a oh, nice got the oh. pursuit with chair. That looks violent. It is violent. <laughs> it's just some wrestling stuff right there. The call out though. Call out the back dash after throw attack. All right, so Jing one up. And as a reminder, this is a uh, best of five. However, we, you know, this is a double elimination tournament. So Masoma would have to win two. Yeah, so Masoma still got a long road ahead. Jing with a little more breathing room here. So far, uh, that, that, you know, the, the key was not a good luck, but Masoma still got a lot of opportunities. Yes, a great opener here. Again, from Jing, just not letting Masoma get any of his tricks going. Yeah, Jing is just playing so clean right now. Here's this another knockdown, tries to base sling out. Love the dive. Mm -hmm. But again, I like the dive, but there was no commit. Uh, Jing is just not willing to put out a button to put him in a uh, disadvantageous situation. Yeah, we see those jump shields coming out for Jing again. Those are meant to try and shield the projectile and then uh, try and use the BC fall to either punch or at least to kind of win neutral. And then you also obviously uh, build stuff where you successfully shield. So it, it's definitely a win-win if you can pull it off. <laughs> And Jing taking the light lead here. We've got meter on both sides, so I wonder if they'll just, you know, try. Oh, okay, oh, no. <laughs> I 
I wonder if he will not take this round. Yeah. That's a, that's a difficult place to try and uh, shield on wake up. There are a lot of options that Yuzu can do, but uh, we have seen Masoma is definitely very comfortable at trying to commit to a shield there on wake uh -huh. up, like we're seeing. Yeah, but again, Masoma committing to the A and the BC just uh -oh. keeps Jinx safe with the setup here. Okay, we do get a low into this combo. It's going to go ahead and do it. get Masoma actual damage on the board. Yeah, Jinx trying to go for that. He got to try and beat Stance back with Masoma against them. Uh, well earned damage here. Just getting a lot of damage from Chip. Like, the successful shield preventing it. There it is, right. but this time, Masoma with one step ahead, but just barely missed Mason, could not get the pipe. That's actually really unfortunate for Masoma. Had the right plan. Okay, oh, shielding again. Just Jing is taking a ton of chip, too. That's a lot of recoverable health, but that's a lot of chip, too. Yeah, we have a lot of meter, though, for Jing. All right, yeah, they just, oh, oh the that could have terrible. Okay. It is terrible. Yeah, chair, a lot of recovery on that. Very nice jump back from Masoma. I was wondering how Jing was going to match this comeback. Yeah. Turns out Masoma just said no. You're not allowed to. All right, there's the air to air. They call out on the jump here. Jake, we're going to spend some meter. And we're going to see what this knockdown gives us. Mm -hmm. Okay. No dice so far, but yep, that's too far, and I think Masoma knows it. Crowd shield, but the beast to keep it safe. More pressure. There's a throw oh, attack. Oh! oh, the overhead comes out, and now Masoma is in this really comfortable spot. They're really great with this combo. They practice a ton. Yeah. Gets a charge. He's almost got full moon as well. Jing caught stand attack again. Oh no! Looks like Masoma tried to do an end there, but a little bit too slow there. Jing with a big hit. The table gets set up. Okay. Could right, be yeah. egg here. Let's see. Oh. There's the moon trying to see the Oki. Yep. Got to be careful. Don't do anything silly with this dust. Okay. Okay. The right. Soma didn't at least try it and heat it, but that time instead just uh, took the mix and paid for it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, so Jing, I mean, he is, he's winning, but he's visibly stressed. Yeah, he, he's definitely completely focused. He is, and Masoma just, I mean, at the end of that, just shook his head. He's, I don't know if he's out of options, but mentally, it feels like he's really on the back foot I right mean, now. We're, we're seeing the moon drops coming out on Wake Up and then, like I said before, definitely a sign that you are feeling mentally pressured by the knockdown situation. Yes, definitely. All right. Good start here, though, for Masoma. All right, catching Jing, committing to that shield and was able to get a little bit of knock on there. Yeah, Masoma building some damage, but I, I think the pressure of this, this shield play against projectiles has uh, really been working at Masoma, but uh, like we've seen before, He's doing great this round here, just needs to finish his play. Yep, oh, and there again, getting that moon drive, he's able to see, and again, well done, finishes that round. Yep, using moon drive not only to try and obviously kind of OS your neutral, but uh, if Jing tries to go for those jump shields, you can see it and punish appropriately. So I think that the timing is definitely not easy. No, it is certainly not. Okay. Yeah, BC to keep the pressure up for Jing. And the defense yeah. here from Masoma. Oh! oh! TK dies. Opening. Yep, punishes the stand tech. That's exactly what Jake wants. Like, okay, you're not going to try and uh, escape my pressure? Well, now I'm just going to go full beast mode here. Just yes. try and open you up. Yeah, and what's the option here now? Is he going to set up the dust right after this? Yes, he is. Uh, overhead doesn't get anything. Uh, Masoma doing okay, a good call up, but, Oh, we don't get a full confirm up of this. That is a problem. No, that was, that was his opportunity, and he just wasn't able to get anything. Yeah. Oh, the air movement from Jing doing a great job keeping Masoma locked down in that corner. Oh, my God, the dangerous 5 feet. Oh, okay. okay, here we go. But Jing with the light lead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh no! no! What happened? It's one of those awkward timing things. Just Jing, one step ahead here, and now he's on tournament point. Just needs one more round if he can do it. The stare oh, okay. okay! Masoma! Yeah, so showing some signs of life here. I mean, he wants this. He, he wants this. He's got to do some adjustments here. Not let Jake get his gameplay going Air like that. Air shield again, yeah. I, the vlog, the vlog game plan of just, you know, hoping that they just run into these projectiles is just not working out versus Jin. No, and there again, the Moon Drive activation, trying to see what's going on, trying to get some oh. kind of fatal counter. This could be the opening that he needs. He's got almost four back as far as a magic circuit. He just got that. He's gonna end it in Arc Drive Super if he wants it. Yes. He's gonna close another right. round. The crowd. Going nuts here. We've got one on the board for Masoma's side. Trying to defend America. Sigh of relief. Yeah, he does look a bit pressured here, and who wouldn't be in his position, right? Right. I mean, this is this is really, I mean, the strongest history. Yeah. <laughs>
He's opening it up now. Just getting a little bit of damage here, and Jake... Oh, okay, does I like that, yes. We're recognizing that jump skill, trying to landing punish it. Which is, this is good. This is a good adjustment from Masoma if they want to continue their tournament life. Okay. And Masoma has a great life lead right now. We're seeing that patient shield play, just trying to deal with these projectiles. We, we know if Jake can find the hit here, definitely can turn it around. Oh, oh Masoma. What an opening yeah. for Jake. That was very tricky spacing wise to see who was at advantage there. But Jinx. Very clean here. It's a mix trying to beat anything to happen. And oh, whoa! No, the no. longest of holds! The longest of stand shield holds! A big punish here from Jinx. Uh oh. Yeah. Masoma's in trouble. Masoma's in huge trouble. He is just, doesn't really have anything to work with. He cannot commit. Do not. I was about to say, do not heat right now. Okay, okay nice. He's there. Getting a lot of health back. Oh! And he opens it up! Arc Tribe finishes it out. It's, we, it's been a while since we've seen the kind of raw GC there, but that is such a huge boon for Blob. Is you land a heat, you fling them off, but then you have all these resources dumped, and here goes Masoma, smell of blood, trying to get Jing off tilt here. Yes. Look at him jumping in, mm -hmm. trying to open up Jing. Yeah, take the fight. Let's jump by Jerry. Oh, Moon drive. oh! Nothing? Okay. Just a lot of chip damage coming out of here. Okay, he's out of Moon now. Right, wow, that was the so fast. Again. That stand shield reaction was insane. But Jing ends up finding the hit here. Once again, we're back at the same old story. All right, throw comes out. The bento, uh -oh. another throw. Is, another oh, no. throw. Oh, 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 my God! It was bait. It was a perfect setup. Throw, throw, <laughs> throw bait, dead. And now, yet again, Jing on tournament point. And another throw. Oh, I thought... He's just bringing out the throws now, all of a sudden. Yeah, this is something that we've not seen in the gameplay at all. Yeah, we've definitely been seeing Jin kind of rely on just the fourth high-low, and the EX picks just go for another one, but now we're seeing Jin bring out the throws and try and, you know, just, just put Masoma on tilt, I think, unblockable attempt. Yes. Oh, and there it is with the, uh, the back moon drive, or the, yeah, moon skill comes out. Go ahead, spend meter, and then just gonna charge. Get as many moon icons as he can out of this. Nice, there's the shield for the shield, No, another commitment, and afterwards now Jing is getting to open up Masoma. Okay, Jing. We got meter, oh. we got Hito, we got Hito. That's the plan to help. Oh! oh! The last sliver of that key comes. No! Oh, he went for it! Oh, oh my god! Jake wanted the anime W. He really did. Denied so, though. <laughs> so oh Jake, my god, look at him go! He was like, oh, I really tried. So in that moment, um, when you have four bars of Magic Circuit, you can activate something called a last arc, which would have immediately eliminated Masoma. But when you commit to that, you leave yourself wide open. Okay, DK, BC to keep it safe, stuck in the air though. Very nice, Masoma. These adjustments need to be working out. Just play, playing around the jump shield game and then actually sticking to your guns occasionally has been leading to a lot of damage for Masoma, who's tied it up 2 2. Yes. So he can reset this, but there's the bait and the punish. I'm not going to say that Masoma is out of this particular round yet because they've shown time and time Absolutely. again that they are able to adapt and adjust. Oh this, my but god! Another oh, another heat! That's it! Just get landing heat, get back in the game, get all these resources, find the hit here, or force your way in. Unfortunately, though, Jake comes in with the overhead, getting a little combo, sets up the table once again. They just always have meter for that. Low, that's going to be a lot of damage here. Is this going to kill? Jake's is going to kill! <laughs> All right. Match point again. I <laughs> feel like I said that three times already. Uh, I think we have. <laughs> but once again, Masoma fighting for tournament life. Wants this reset. Just oh! Jens oh. kept caught by the TK dive yet again. That's been very effective. All right, table comes out. And Mix, we got. Oh, the jump the back back back. Back. No! What an unfortunate turn of events yeah, for Masoma. Probably an OS against the back dash. And now Masoma's in trouble. Could this be Ed Jing? Oh! No way does that actually work. Okay, so he actually got the shield counter on that. He's going to. Get this yeah, we need now. We have anything. it. We have, we have drive again. Jump back. He didn't use it, so we still have opportunity. I love how patient he has when he drives. Oh, that's a big catch. No, Too far. Oh no, that 
was huge. It's, oh, it's not okay. a huge one. We're just zoning down the chip damage. Yeah. Trying to just catch him jumping. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, he got it! Oh my god! He got it! He took it! A bit uncharacteristic from Jin. Jin's usually not the one to lose from Jeff. You know, the forward pressure is really good. Easily, uh, you know, sticking with shields and stuff like that. Oh, but dude, just got caught. No, no, all the jump back I liked. That was really smart. Good adjustment. Didn't want to get caught again. Very scary though. Jin has shown to represent a lot of answers versus stuff like Wake Up Back Dash. But, you know, Masoma just trying to pick the right places to roll the dice now. I think again, the landing recovery on Eric Shield. Gonna confirm. Is this gonna be the reset? He's got a huge life advantage. But Jin has a lot of resources. Jin has a ton of resources. This could be actively the death for mental. Jin gets a hit in, Stump but Masoma in. doing the thing that worked before. He wants, he wants the air blockable. He okay. sees something with Moondor. Yes, oh! two. It's not it. There's one more. What is the CLPC throw? does a plan. Oh no, not like this. He's not dead, but now Jake's going to be able to run his game. Jake doesn't have Moondor, but now there's Masoma. Here we go. It's going to be a knockdown. What's it going to be? Oh, the base. Dash back. Do it so again. So smart. No! Oh, JC works. The end confirmed. Oh! We have from Masoma. He took the exact line he needed here. Again, gambling at the right time for the game. It's an option that a lot of people are like, oh, no, you don't want to play around if you want you get baited and you just punish and die. But no, Masoma knows exactly where to pull it off. He has not gotten that baited a single time in the grand finals on those heats. Like, yeah, the EX stop was short, but these just raw guard cancel heats. Actually, just the first step in staging that comeback to bring it up and getting us to the reset. Catching our breath, they're already right back. Yeah, they're already going in. I'm like, is this a replay? But no, we're just going straight back in. I was like, replay? No, okay. We're okay, back. yeah, another air unblockable. Jig still having trouble with that. It's definitely been, again, a huge source of damage for Masoma. Okay. Gets hit now. Jing opening up Masoma. A lot of resources again. And I think we keep saying that, but Jing is so good at managing his resources. Okay, here we go. Jing, what's it going to be? Crown Shield and the BC Pirates. That's probably going to be the round. Yes. Oh it my is. god, Masoma now leading after this reset. He's got the round this big. Yeah, this is huge for Masoma. I feel like just the, the level up that he got from the crowd right then, no, cheering absolutely. everything. It was not looking good in the earlier part of this grand final set, but the last several games have shown Masoma very much in this. Definitely getting pumped up, bouncing back. But unfortunately for Masoma, Jing is not out of this. He is definitely showing. not. This is a nasty situation. You oddly, you kind of feel like you got to take those. Yeah, you can't even jump here. Just brought back to the ground, dragged into the explosion from the bento. All right, and they're perfect. Yeah, Jing absolutely not out of this. They're gonna, they're fighting tooth and nail. This is some oh. of the most intense nothing but I've ever seen. A big opener for Masoma. Yeah, shield recovery, I think. Getting caught by the down projectile. Air shield, that, that's the play style. All right, had a little bit of a clash in the air, but nobody got to take advantage of it. Jing. Oh, oh dangerous. Woo. Yes, very dangerous. I was gonna say, throwing out some kind of uncharacteristically dangerous. Cerebral! Oh my god! Three jump D8 follow up. First of Masoma's defense. Alright, Fatal Counter comes out and a throw oh, into no. the corner. Masoma, he's out of drive. Yeah, okay, but I do like the adjustment from Masoma not doing Take anything to the oh, Okay, no. I was gonna say, Masoma, you know, kind of playing on a bit of borrowed time here because, yes, these heats have paid off, but it's only in our time before Jake starts trying to play around them, right? Yes, and, and we're seeing that. What I was saying before that was like, oh, I really like that. Masoma's not, you know, heating into that dust situation. And then Jing makes a counter adjustment, and I th this has got to kind of be on Masoma to yeah. make another counter adjustment. At this point, there's so much counter play happening. Absolutely. Whoever is making the adjustments faster is going to be more successful, but you have to make that in a split second in this situation. Absolutely. They're not taking breaks. Yeah, first round of five was basically Masoma saying, all right, I'm just going to guard cancel heat at the right spot to try and, you know, play when I'm from behind. And we'll see how this three out of five, the second one plays out here. Oh my god, what a punish. An incredible punish. Okay. Yeah, this combo we've seen time and time again, and just nets so much damage okay, for Jing. Okay, one step ahead on the RPF. Jing with the delay shield, just wait and see. Bite the hit. Okay, coming back into it. All right. Oh, tech there. I, I like that Masoma is anticipating those throws a little bit more than they were in the previous rounds. Shields the book, but oh my oh, god! No. When you. When you see Kisui throw everything out, and yet she still has more gas in the tank, still has that dive. So tricky. 
He should be throws everything, including the kitchen sink at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, better, better round start here for Masoma. I, I always feel like Masoma plays much more strongly when he's in ice. It's just unfortunate that you have to be like one round away from losing no, to get absolutely. to that point. Okay, the disengage here. Masoma with the run under. Okay, and Masoma fights damage. This is definitely the Masoma kind of round here. Yes, it yep. is. The positive feedback loop. But no, the snipe from the air, no confirm. The run under, you're gonna get yeah, so good. very nice. Very well done. Clean round. Yeah, no, I mean, Hisui has the air dive to try and juke their, their air movement a bit, um, but usually relying on the moves that don't have huge cross-up hitboxes means that, yeah, Masoma definitely goes for those run under just uh, trying to play Hisui in a bad spot. Oh my gosh. The throw loops. Okay, that time. Oh, so much shield happening there. And look at their, look at that magic circuit. They're both sitting the on four and they're But here we go, Masoma finds the 2A. Trying to stage the comeback here, or at least take the light lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, see how Jin gets out of this corner situation. He's got a lot of resources for both players here, yeah. so something's gonna happen, and there it goes. Yeah, I love the bounce bonus out of that too, getting a little bit more damage. Spend the bar. The triple tap, the Masoma specials are back in the corner. We got a blood heat activation though. And the run under attempts. Oh, the tech on the throw and a shield comes back and it just ran out. That could have been detrimental. Yeah, no, it's someone definitely respecting that. All right, just trying to find an opening. Now Jing, out of meter, and meter pretty useful for you, so there's the arrow blockable. It doesn't really have enough to finish this. Oh. Not gonna build the bar to complete it either. We got. Oh, go for the stand -up. Oh my god, no way! No, 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 no. Oh! We just saw a character trailer review for it. That's anime! <laughs> that was so anime. Alright, and Bluff takes the first game after the race at Masoma. Hope we can get a look at Jing's face, actually, because uh, first time, I think, in the set now that Jing is in the back foot in, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 1-1 one, one now, sitting here. And Masoma, I mean... It's the ground movement so far, I think it's been the big adjustment for Masoma. It's like, okay, if you're gonna leap around, try and play on these fireballs, I'll just play regular neutral with the pokes. Like, my pokes are still good, I still got the Rekka, I still got the sword. Yeah, and Jing needs to really adjust their round start. These jump round starts are so advantageous for Masoma because he has so many tools to take his V out of the sky. So smart! Sees the BC from Sui to try and get close, but still one step ahead, creating the wall. All right, oh, swings a little bit there, doesn't get anything out of it, just trying to catch, manages to not get hit by any of the bosses coming in. And then again, this zoning from the Sola has paid oh off so God. much, but opened up, tried to score a cross under, but <laughs> Jing was ready. Okay. See, masoma has got a lot of life though, so I think he can afford to take some of this, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Choose the Gamble oh. Shield, BC is alive. The jump, the yeah, air is blockable. Beautifully done. Saying, I don't even need to use Moon Drive to do this. Just call it your jump, just seize it straight up. No, and I'm glad you pointed out earlier in this top eight that we carry this over round to round because mm -hmm. it's really important to notice what they're Absolutely. not spending. Absolutely. It's huge for, with Vlog in particular here, too. I mean, if you want a demonstration on the system mechanics, look no further than this character, right? Uh, definitely, because he is the he is the character who just explains the best how to use the system mechanic. All right, Captain and then the back dash. dash caught that time. It's been working out pretty well for Masoma overall, but that time just caught. Yeah, pretty sure that OS is from 2A, so I mean sometimes you're far enough away it looks like it could work out, but we've also seen seen Jin call that with a chair, so. Yeah, it's definitely taking chances the right place. Speaking of taking chances, though. All right, that was a big risk, and it's paying off for Masoma, getting a lot of damage out of this knockdown. And I love the way he always does that little reach up in the air afterwards to just try and avoid any incoming. Okay, that would have come from Jane. Yep. Just dispensing the mids here and the lows. Let's see if Jane can get out of the corner. Moon no. to keep saying, yeah, where are you going? And just where are you like going? that. 2-1, Masoma in this Grand Finals reset, and Jing is actually looking a little lost right now. The annotations are, okay, so you know how to play around my basic keep around game, now let's just play footsies. I got a big sword. How are you gonna deal with that? Footsies with a really big sword. Let's figure that out. However, good round start here from Jing. Good round start, good god, look at all this damage. Yeah, this is looking like a Jing round here. We're back mid-screen trying to play around it, but Masoma on the offense. Yeah, and again, ground movement coming out here. Oh, Flash. it's on the overhead. Nope, nothing comes out. Oh, oh the no. side switch. Jing was ready for it. He's gonna go ahead and close out this round. Masoma started throwing those out. I think uh, the post reset. 
it's, it's unfortunate he was unable to confirm that, but, you know, we bounce back here. We still have the, the game advantage. Mm -hmm. But I think Jing is in quite the hurry, yep, to try yes. and bring this to a game five here. Yeah, really wants to, to come back. Really wants to take this and not giving the Silva the opportunity to play the video games. Yep, Moon tried to see the knockdown situation. We block, but now you're forced to hold this. There's a shield to BC fall. Oh, oh no! no! No, I was just waiting to see when he was going to heat. And the blood heat comes out to see. Absolutely expected. Jing is going to go ahead and close out this round unless something totally psychotic happens, which at this point I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Yo, yep, you are absolutely right about that. Jing closes out, ties it up 2 2. But you know what? I feel like that's not a bad place as Masoma to try and gamble. He was like, okay, uh, you know, I'm down on life by quite a lot. And Jing has a lot of resources. I got not much. If I can land this heat, I can bounce back into the game. Right. Uh, it's, you know, got like a over 80% success rate on that, so yes, I don't think yes. it's a bad idea, but it does mean we are going to a game five here. Yeah, game five. This is it. This is it. The last game that we're going to have. Such a visible difference, though, in, in play style here after these adjustments. The shield recovery getting taken. Masoma will get some damage off of here, and we're going to charge a bit. Yeah, we're going to back off a little bit, but go right back in, right? Yeah, because that aggression has been what has been winning in this exactly. round. Exactly. Oh, oh, no! no. Gosh, this shield. The meta is too high. Oh, there's so many throws. The this longest hole of the shield now. Yeah, and that's really scary. Uh, Masoma though with a drop in Moon Drive gets a huge air to air confirm. Oh my god, and he left yeah. all the way in that long sword. Yeah. Comes in clutch again. Masoma one round away. All right, and Masoma, can he do it? Got the round start movement. Jake just stood there and Masoma was there. Oh! oh no! Jing is such a high success rate with that TK dive. Mid screen. Throws back into the corner, setting up for the small bento. Dust comes out. Trying to catch with this, and then a throw. Oh, God, it's no, so this ambiguous. Is, yeah, it's not looking good for Masoma. I think no. we go next here. All right. Throw. There's Doesn't one more kill, okay. scaling. Was unable to block on Wake Up, not sure who's going for it there, but here we go, final game, final round, guys! Oh, and you hear the audience at Yeah, this is insane! The fact that they're cut! Jake, this is not where you want to be at the Soma! No, He's just not. draining his Moon Drive, too! He's in trouble on his way! It's only 10 seconds on the clock, the bar, but no! no! Not like this! He's been gambling the whole set, paying off overall, but when it counts, Jake just calmly playing around it. And this could be the end here, Masoma. I know he can do it, but... But there's no resources. He doesn't oh have any. Oh my god, I think that's it! Jake! He'll take it! He's your Mouthy Blood 2022 champion from Japan. All that practice paid off. He did it. He fought through the American Gauntlet, the, the worldwide gauntlet that was here today, to take the EVO Championship here. It was a very hard-fought set. Masoma bringing it back to reset. The tears coming out. You know how much this means for him. He worked so hard. He worked so hard to make it there. And Masoma really, really worked hard yeah. to like not let him have that. No, absolutely. It was it was looking a little bit one-sided in the beginning of the grand final set, but Masoma very quickly added some amazing, amazing adaptations to make this one ridiculously close. I mean... Look at the relief that he has on his face. It is it is intense how much focus you have to put when you're playing against a character like Vlav. But like you said before, his training completely